This is the morning office for March 13th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 145, verses 8 to 19. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power, that the peoples may know of your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is faithful in all his words and merciful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall. He lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the needs of every living creature. The Lord is righteous in all his works and loving in all his ways. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I have answered you. On a day of salvation I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways. On all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will turn all my mountains into a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Lo, these shall come from far away, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syene. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child or show no compassion for the child of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us, that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought on silence today comes from a Carthusian monk named Dom Augustin Guiron, who says, The words we do not speak become prayers. He, of course, is speaking as one who lives as a monk in a monastery where silence reigns at all times. But I think there's something that is true for us, too. Sometimes we find that the words that we pray interfere with the intentions of our prayers. Words like give or do or save are noisy when compared with a word like be, encouraging God simply to do what it is that God intends, to align oneself with God's will. Somehow I think silence brings better alignment. If we can be in silence with God, perhaps 
a little bit of what we would otherwise demand of God, a little of our vision of how the world should be maybe set aside, and we might get a glimpse of what it is that God desires, what it is that God wills for us and for all of creation. I ask your prayers for the day, for the world, and for the church. Pray for those needs that are known only to you, those secrets that you carry in your heart, those people whom you carry in your heart, whose needs you worry about, those needs you offer to God. Pray also for the world. As has been so often the case in the course of these daily offices, I ask your prayers for those who have no one to pray for them. So much of the world is forgotten and feels forgotten. The least we can do is to offer to God a prayer for those who otherwise will have none. And pray for the church, which so often does the praying and so rarely is the one prayed for. Pray that God will strengthen it, renew it, and restore it. O Lord our God, you sustained your ancient people in the wilderness with bread from heaven. Feed now your pilgrim flock with the food that endures to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>